Okay, I better hurry and wrap this up. But anyway, most likely at this point, um, it's very minimal, um, probably severe COPD. If not, worst case scenario, lymphatic cancer or something along those lines, which I could have swore I'd mentioned to my mom before. I, I'm pretty sure I mentioned to you guys um, when the doctor had told me that I'd have to go through my videos for all that and that's just too time consuming for me. But I'm pretty sure I've brought that up. And so I was informing my mother of this. And bless her heart, I'm not trying to knock her. But when you're already facing more gallons, when you've already all but tried to take, in your, own, take your own life and damn near succeeded, as I have, when you've already been through many extensive back surgeries like I have, and face deadly staph infections. It's all that I can say that it's amazing that I'm still here. I'm like a cat with nine lives. And it's not that I asked to still be here by any means. Some days I wish somebody just put me out of my misery. You know, there's so many that go through those um, encounters that in their life. And I keep saying, why am I still here? You know, I, I've mentioned that. Um, but I'm still here, so I'm dealing with it the best I'm able, the best of my capability, and that's all one could ask for, I do believe, is to, you know, do the best that they're able. And I think I've more than done that. Um, but bless her heart, you know, I know it's part. Sorry if I choke up. She's the one person I know that sincerely cares. And I love her for it. Even though she's clueless regarding more gowns and she probably thinks I'm insane too. But at least she loves me enough that she cares. So, with that said... She was concerned when I mentioned that, you know, I could have lymphatic cancer and wants me to, you know, be sure to ask the doc, good old doc, to follow up on that because she feels I need to know. But it's like I told her mom if you know, the more gallons alone and I can't treat that. I don't even have the financial means in which to eat healthy. Sure, I could knock out some of my bad habits like smoking or occasional drinking. But even at that, I couldn't afford to eat healthy if I wanted to. Now, if I had the physical ability, I'd plant myself a garden up back and eat, eat for Mother Earth. You know what I'm saying? But I don't even have the physical ability. So, bottom line is, I'm just coping here and acting like I don't even have more gallons because I'm doing the best I can to just live. And so, she wants to have it confirmed by the doc whether I do or don't have cancer. Well, you know what? That's just another nail in the grave for me. Something else that I am unable to compete with. So, for me... The knowledge of that would be horrendous. I don't know that I want to know. It's like I told her, Mom, what good is that to even know if I do or don't? You know, I just recently went through the whole spill with the biopsy, the needle biopsy with the mammogram thing in my breast. What good is it for me to know something so horrific? So I know one other thing wrong with me that I cannot combat with, that I cannot compete with. That's just going to, you know, drive that nail in my coffin and add to a slow, torturous death. What good is it at this point for me to even have knowledge of that or to comprehend it?
if that is the case. I don't want to know. That's just being honest. But God bless her heart, she wants to know because she loves me and is my mother. You know, just like with any mom, they want to combat what's wrong with you. Well, I've only got so much of a fight left. I don't think I could compete with that diagnosis as well.